Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we are going to show you how to replace a serpentine belt in a 2010 Volkswagen GTI. If you need any parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to pull the wheel off. Uh, these normally have caps over it, so on your vehicle you may have those. Um, you're going to use a tool from the kit in the trunk. Um, it's got a, like a hook on it. You put it in the center of the cap and you pull straight up. This vehicle does not have that, so we're just going to take them off. A 17 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Just going to break them free. This is the passenger side of the vehicle. We're using a two post lift to raise and lower the vehicle. Um, at your house you can use a jack and jack stand. All right, we're going to take these lug studs out. Volkswagen uses lug studs, studs or lug bolts, not lug nuts. For this one, when you get to the last one, you're going to want to make sure you put pressure on the wheel. Because of the lug studs, um, the wheel will fall. Grab the wheel. To access the front of the motor, we're going to take this panel out. I'm going to start by taking these T25s out one at a time. So there's one fastener here, there's one here, one here, there's two right here. And underneath, there's one right here, one here, one here. One here, there's two right here, and this one's missing one, but there's normally one right there. Next, we're going to take this intercooler pipe out. Um, this comes off the turbo and goes to the intercooler. We're going to take these two torques out. It's a T30 and a ratchet. Uh, these bolts are captured so they won't pull out, so they'll just stay there. We're going to pull this intercooler pipe out. There's a little lock ring here. We're going to pull it straight out, hold it. Should be able to wiggle it right out. And then we're gonna do the same up here. There's another little lock right there. Pull it up. It comes out of the way. Um, you can separate it there, but there's no need to since we were able to separate it in these two spots. And that gives us the most uh, room to work. Now we're gonna pull the belt off. Uh, the tensioner is right here. You're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and uh, we're going to use a breaker bar but you could use a ratchet. Um, put it on and you're going to pull it towards the back of the vehicle. That's going to loosen the tension for the belt. And we can slip the belt right off. You're going to want to hold a little bit so you don't get it stuck like that. To make it easier to put the new belt on, we're going to put a small Allen down this hole in the tensioner, pull the tensioner tight. Alright, so we're going to install our serpentine belt, um, we're going to have to go over the alternator pulley up top. We're gonna come down around our AC compressor. We're gonna go around our crank pulley next. And pull it down 
around our tensioner. And now that it is set, we're able to pull our holder out. We take tension off with our 17 millimeter socket and ratchet. And then we can pull out our Allen. And now it's good. Now we're going to reinstall our intercooler pipe. I want to make sure these clips are pushed down. On this one, you can see it's out. All you can do is push it in. Ready to push it in. Just give it a little force till it clicks. all these two T30s. We're going to use our T30 socket and a ratchet. Let's snug these down. Next, we're going to install this side panel shield. Install all your T25 bolts. Now we're going to install the tire. Line up with the holes and hold it. And we'll use our 17 millimeter socket to put our lug studs on or lug bolts, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to torque the lug studs to 120 Newton meters. In a star pattern. When you do it in a star pattern, it makes the wheel go flush to the brake rotor properly. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.